Just to make sure everybody understands, Shabby, tell our audience and listeners and viewers here, what do we mean by buying a property subject to the existing note? So when we say buy subject to the existing note, which is not something that you would actually say to a seller, no. right? You're not going to say, I'm going to buy your property subject to the existing note because that's going to go right over their head, right? So basically they have a mortgage on that property with a bank or with a credit union or some institution. And all you're going to do is you're going to make their payments for them. So they're not getting rid of that loan. Instead, you're just going to pay those payments as they come on a monthly basis and they're going to transfer the title of the property to you. So you're going to own the property and make payments as if it was your loan, except the loan stays in their name. So that's right. the only thing you're, you're, you're making their payments and you're taking over the property and they can go on their happy way and live their life. So they don't have to worry about those monthly payments anymore. And oftentimes Jay with subject to, with the strategy that you use, if somebody is behind on payments, you're actually helping them fix their credit mm -hmm. because you're making those on time monthly payments. Now, in this case, they were on time, so you don't have to do that. And as long as you continue to make those payments for them, that's still helping their credit build up because that's a loan on their property that's being paid on time. Yeah. So they are actually getting in this transaction that I'm talking about, <clears throat> they are actually getting, um, about $34,000 more than their payoff. So I'm going to use, so I'm buying it subject to the existing note, making the payments on that outstanding balance until I find a buyer and cash out. So the difference that I'm paying them, so I, I explain to them, you're getting the same amount of money in your pocket, whether I pay all cash and pay off your mortgage or if I buy this, what I call option B <laughs> and explain to them how subject to works, I said, you're still getting the same amount of money in your pocket. It's just a matter of whether I'm going to be paying off your mortgage right now. And so what, I, what am I going to do <clears throat> on this deal? I'm buying it subject to the existing note. And then I'm going to borrow private money in a second position or a junior position um, and use that little bit of private money to go ahead and give them their cash uh, when we close on it and we're closing on the deal this coming Monday. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm.